Hello, friend. I think you're here because you're a speech therapist and you are curious about what is involved in the Affirming Communication for Autistic Children online course. Awesome. I am going to run you through what it's all about, why we're here, and I hope that you will decide to join us in the course. I'm Adina. I'm a neurodivergent autistic ADHD a speech therapist. I am a professional educator, podcaster, all kinds of things. This is little me playing in a most autistic manner, age three, I think it was. I didn't know I was autistic at the time. In my work, in my clinical practice and my professional development teaching, I love connecting up what we know from research, from evidence, from the body of lived experience from many autistic people and connecting that with my own lived experience, my reflections on what has been affirming and supportive in my whole life, you know, throughout my childhood and in my adult life as well. So I love bringing all of this together and teaching others how you can be more neurodiversity affirming. And in the Affirming Communication for Autistic Children course, the way that I do that is by making it super practical. I provide information, tools, handouts, printouts, templates, plates that you can use in your clinical practice to support you along your journey and really implement change so that you're confident in the way that you are supporting your autistic clients and that it is aligned with a neurodiversity affirming approach. Let me show you what's in the course. We kick off with a welcome module where I share some of the big background ideas that underpin the whole approach. And then we have four modules between one hour and one and a half hours long. Module one is all about affirming assessments, where I share my approach to what neurodiversity affirming speech therapy assessments look like for autistic kids. Now, the age range that we cover is up to around age 12. The main focus is around communication assessments for our autistic clients within our speech therapy practices. We talk about standardized assessments, the challenges with them, the reasons why we might need to use them and also some of the many other ways that we can perform assessments that are really useful for supporting goal setting, tracking progress and also seeking funding and support if that's necessary. I've got lots of tools to help you make your assessments affirming and my hope is to make that change hopefully kind of easy for you. That's my aim. Next, we head into module two. We've got three therapy modules throughout the course. So module two is all about communication, interaction, and play. We're bringing together evidence-based practice, clinical experience, lived experience, and sharing strategies that you can use in your interactions with your autistic clients or students, as well as getting you really confident to be able to explain and teach those strategies to the other people in that child's life. I share how it might look in different kinds of therapy settings when you do sensory-based, interest-based support for your autistic clients or students. We talk about AAC, we talk about gestalt language processing, we talk about play and the role that play has and should have in our speech therapy sessions. Next up, module three, we get specific about how social support can look when you're talking about helping autistic clients in an affirming way. And heads up, we are not looking to change autistic clients. We are looking to support them to meet the goals that they have rather than the goals that other people in the world might have for them. We're encouraging the world around the child to also understand and support your autistic clients' way and preferences for communication, for socializing. In this module, we're also talking about other communication areas that speech therapist support and the considerations that you need to hold when you're supporting your autistic clients with things like speech, fluency, voice, literacy, all of that is in this module. And finally, in module four, we are going big. We are changing the world around the child. This module is all about supporting the other people in a child's life to be aligned with the neurodiversity affirming approach. I've got some ideas for how you can actually respond to some of those tricky FAQs that parents or teachers might pose to you. And we share some big ideas about how you can support the world to change to best support your autistic clients, students, community. If I'm honest, this might be my favorite module, but I don't want to pick favorites here. This is where we can really zoom out and increase our impact. Another huge part of the course that I haven't yet talked about is our Facebook group where you can go to be accountable, to go through some of your responses for some of the reflection and idea questions that I'll be prompting you with throughout. I'm there for support. I'm there to bounce ideas. And so are the other participants who are going to be joining you along the course as well. And if you're that type of learner, yes, there are quizzes and yes, there is a certificate at the end for six hours of professional development and hopefully a lifetime of change, of boosted confidence, and just knowing that the way that you're supporting your autistic client is aligned with this human rights, human affirming, neurodiversity affirming approach. Wonderful speechy. I hope that you'll consider joining the Affirming Communication for Autistic Children online course. I so look forward to meeting you and supporting you in the course. I hope you have a sparkly day.